Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Basement Card Collector. And in today's video, we're going to be recapping our recent trip to our local card shop. I found just a small stack of cards here, a few, and I did pick up a set for my tops run, and I wanted to show you what we found. And so here with us today, Andre Dawson on the 1989 tops. Mr. George Altman on the 62 tops, and a little Willie Mays on the 62 tops, 2002 archives version. <laughs> and you may be wondering what's up with the 62 tops. Well, I'm always looking for Cubbies cards for my team set, for my uh, for the actual set, and someday I will try to build the 1962 tops. I think right now I might have five cards in total. <laughs> and uh, Mr. George Altman here is kind of doing double duty at the moment. He would be my my only Cubs card I have in the 62 tops. And he would be one of those five cards in my total 1962 tops collection. So I'm just barely on the board with a few cards for that set. And so what I wanted to show you here are the singles that we picked up. Um, and the first one really goes along well with that George Altman. Check out what we have. I finally can say I have a Bill Mazeroski playing days card. Um, I wasn't going to the shop looking for a Bill Mazeroski, but I also knew that I didn't have one. He did hit that famous home run, and there are a few pirate fans out there in our YouTube small corner of the world. Mr. Math Bowler and Mr. Michael Myers, big pirate fans, and I just thought, man, I finally have one, and I am super happy to have added it to the collection, and I picked this one out because... Um, because it has the cartoon on the back of him hitting that home run. You can see here the 1960 World Series fills the bill. Bill Mazeroski beat the Big Bad Yankees with his home run. So I finally have one. Super happy to have that. And again, I have never seen the 62 tops. Um, but I wanted this one because of the cartoon that was on the back. That guy had a couple others, but I thought, man... This one would be a pretty cool one to have. Um, so I have one, Mr. Bill Mazeroski. My first one, he does sign TTM. I just don't think I could send this in the mail. I am gonna add that to my, my vintage box and I think I'm up to six cards in the 1962 top set. Until we added this guy, check this out. Whitey Ford, my very first Whitey Ford playing days card. And again, if you've watched my channel here, I, I've been going to this card shop now for a while. And somewhere last year, I started picking up players just from those vintage years that I never had. I have reprint cards of or, you know, post playing days cards of, but I had never actually picked up a playing days card of Whitey Ford. And so now check out that season, 25 and 4. It's just like I have a Whitey Ford card on the 1962 tops. And again, I don't really have a reason why I picked that other than I don't have many 62 tops, period. And I thought now I can add a Whitey Ford to my vintage box as well to go with my George Altman. And now I think I have seven cards on the 1962 tops checklist. So I'm inching closer ever painfully closer <laughs> on the 62 top set. And then there was one more. A Ron Sano 62 tops. So I am on a, again, I collect Ron Sano for my Cubbies collection, my PC of Ron Sano. And somewhere down the line, maybe I'll get a second copy for the actual set, but this is going to go in my Ron Santo run. And this is a second year card of Ron Sano, a Hall of Fame all-star third baseman for those Cubbies. And the case has seen better days, but that's okay. So I will put this towards the Ron Sano collection, and eventually we will dump this into the 1962 top set. You know, now that I have, I'm basically eight cards into the set. 
So there's there's that. <laughs> and I picked up one more Cubbies card. It is not in my ever growing 1962 tops set. It is in the 1964 set. Check out this Billy Williams. It has some sharp corners. It is a Billy Williams, which again, love. I love Billy Williams. I love that jersey. Look at that Cubbies patch on his shoulder. Just a very young Billy Williams in that bright kind of orange-pink background. All those stats on there. And he's still just a very young a youngster. 74 home runs, 282 home runs. His whole Hall of Fame career is yet ahead of him. But we picked that up for the Billy Williams collection. So it kind of breaks my top 62 run. But that would be my vintage pickups for my trips. I picked up four vintage cards. Um, funny story, I do need to tell real quick. Um, before I found this vintage binder that was just kind of hidden in there, I had found a box of just like weird two bucks, three buck cards. And inside that car, inside that box was a Brian Taylor autograph card. Yes, the Brian Taylor. And he said he would take five bucks for it. It was a numbered card from some classic best set or something. And so there for a minute, I had taken out Listen to these words because it made me actually, before I left, I changed my story. When I was leaving, I was getting the Mazeroski, the Whitey Ford was gone, and it was a, a Brian Taylor autographed classic card, Ron Sano and Bill Williams, all for $20. So then I had this on the table, and I only had a $20 bill left, and I thought, okay, I'll just take the Brian Taylor. And so I actually had the, the four-card stack minus the Whitey Ford with Brian Taylor in his place for five dollars I had the four cards in my hand and what I'm about to show you and I was getting ready to walk up to the counter and then I told myself and the shop owner I said I'm going to really hate myself if I I drive out of here and leave the Whitey Ford for five dollars or and I take this Brian Taylor for five dollars so in my head I traded it back real quick and said I'm taking Whitey Ford home for five bucks and not Brian Taylor with Mazeroski, with Ron Sano, and with the Billy Williams. So the four cards here were $20. I also picked this up, which has nothing to do with 1962 or 1964 tops. Check this out. A Scotty Pippen rookie card. Um, I just seen our buddy Zach over at Zach and Porter. They picked up a copy, and I just happened to see this copy. Um, you can see there what we paid for it. Um, I'm thinking, I don't have this card. And here it is. Of all the days, I just watched a video of theirs. They got it. I'm thinking, hey, I might as well get one of those too. So I picked up a Scotty Pippen to go along with my four vintage boys that we picked up. I don't think I can get all those guys on the screen, can I? Scotty. Those were the five cards that we picked up that day. And I also picked up a set picked up this set the 2010 the 2010 tops um it has 660 660 cards in it and it has a plus this steven strasburg rookie card number 661 which i guess looking at some of the sets some of the sets that they first printed i guess didn't have that and it went to 660 and so here we have the 2010 top set five cards and then that was my trip to my LCS. Very happy with the things we picked up. Um, one more set for my tops run. Four really sweet vintage cards and a Scotty Pippen rookie. So I really can't complain um, about this trip into my LCS. So happy to add a Bill Mazeroski and Whitey Ford, my first two playing days cards. Another Billy Williams and my Billy Williams tops run. Super cool Scotty Pippen. And like I said, the 2010 tops set to go toward my tops run so somewhere in the future will be a video kind of updating my top sets where i'm at um, my ron santo and billy williams run i should do something on them i love both of those players and even just my ever-growing vintage box is getting pretty big after one year and so that's it i didn't spend very much money i like that i got some really cool cards from my collection i really like that and that's it um, for this trip to my LCS. So how'd I do? Let me know in the comments, but I do want to say thank you. 
thank you for watching out there and we will see you next time